Time to skate! Yeah! That's where the people locks in. Let's just go to Long Beach then. Pump in there. All right, kind of tough as it is. You guys done? Yeah. We're trying to get a couple of different clips in. But that's the good one, dude. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> dude, this one's way more fucking minimal, dude. Yeah. Way more roomy. Yeah. You just had a sliver. Of room. Dude, I just had yeah, like a little liner room. So now I got way more room. I got a skate rack. Yeah, Eric D, dude, how's that? When I was on Dogtown, he needed to live somewhere and fuck came and stayed with me and my other roommate. So we were, we've been roommates, we've traveled the world together, we've traveled to Japan and stuff, skated and hung out, did Dogtown. This was when we were both on Dogtown at the same time and did Dogtown demo. Demos all over, dude. This was in 97, 98, like that trip, because it was like, go somewhere and you're out, you know, and uh, it's just like a show and everybody loves, doesn't matter what you're doing, everybody loves it and we just had a blast. With Dogtown was the first time I ever went to Japan and then I went with Grind King and then I've been to Japan like 12 times now. Like I like just small groups and I, it's, nobody's like bettering anybody, nobody's doing whatever, you're just skateboarding. That's what I like about just skateboarding. Just do it. Go like, just go for it. Don't like talk about it, and then their next thing is to do it, make it happen. Like everything I've ever done, like even like, so Eric D left Dogtown and went and started doing Santa Cruz stuff when that all happened, and then we got I I stayed around Dogtown. We got Laban and this other Preston A Cup kid, and me and Laban are just like, dude, let's make a video, and he's like, well, most people like get going on it and they don't. And we seriously like went and made the video and made it happen all the way to the finished product. Like there's gonna be ups and downs, but you gotta stick to it and you gotta finish that product. You gotta just go for it. Whatever happens, you're gonna get bumps and bruises. It's like skating, dude. Like I didn't give up on that fakey flip disaster. You know what I mean? I, I failed a bunch of times. Like I, I kept failing, but I put it, to, I was like determined, I knew what the end product was and I knew what I had to get. So I did it. Just focus on it. Just keep going. You're like, no, nope, do it. So it's that simple. Think of it like that way. That's like that's like kind of life in general. Like you're gonna get knocked down a bunch of times, but get back up, dust yourself off. So my last one was all black. License plate is six six six. It was big and black. So I called it beast. But this one's the stormtrooper. Dude, check it out. Stormtrooper. But it's Van Gogh, dude. That's my favorite artist, and there's the Stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah, bro. Dude, what's up, pony boy? <laughs> yeah. There's Melody Skateboards right there. They go all the way up to Canada, and they go all the way west to Japan. So we're worldwide, dude. Worldwide. So, Quentin Tarantino 
was in Hermosa one time and I'm riding my bike and I pass him, I didn't even realize, and I hear, we man, we man. And I'm just like, I don't even look back, I just give it like peace with my hand, right? <laughs> you know, I keep going. Two months later, there's a movie premiere and we go to these things every once in a while and it's his movie and he sees me walking up and he's like, hey, we man, come here. And I'm like, all right. And he goes, hey, two months ago, were you riding your bike down in Hermosa? I'm like, yeah, I live in Hermosa. He goes, dude, I was calling you and you pieced me out. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you, you fanboyed me by calling me Wee Man. If you would have said Jason, I would have turned around and came back. But you full fanboy. And he goes, oh, dude. He goes, I had some friends in town. I felt kind of like, Raz, Wee Man's going to come over. And you pieced me, dude. <laughs> I teach Quentin Tarantino, one of my favorite directors, too. <laughs> Let's go. High five. All of anarchy is the way of life, dude. That's how it's always been. Cause chaos, make waves. Let people, like, know shit, shit goes down. And try it, you know what I mean? If you're into something and you have that much passion about it, just fucking do it. Like, dreams. You come, if you live up to it and you don't fake it, it'll happen. But if you put 100% heart into it and you want to do it, fucking do it. You know what I mean? Don't let other, there's going to be a lot of negative people out there that are going to try and talk you down. And other people, you know why they're saying that? Because they're so bummed that they can't do it. Don't listen to them. Listen to your heart. That's what you got to do. Double grab, oh. bunny hop to fucking scorpion. <laughs> getting over the bombardedness of all the spots. I'm gonna go take a nap and then come skate a little bit later. That's the luxury of living the van life. You can nap at the skate spot and nobody will even know I'm here. Late, see you next time. That's my bed. There's my board. And this is the door. <laughs>